water is thought to have played a key role in the origin of life billions of years ago. As we explore our solar system, the key question is, is there water on other planets? And if so, then how much and where did it come from? My research here at the Open University is currently focused on analyzing moon rocks for their water content and ascertaining their potential sources. Here are some moon rocks that my research group has been analyzing for the last few years. So we now have access to much more sophisticated instrumentation than we had during the Apollo days, such as the instrument over here, which is used for analyzing some of these moon rocks. The water is present inside minerals as a compound of oxygen and hydrogen. So essentially our research is similar to what we call DNA fingerprinting, where we use the hydrogen isotopic composition of the water that we find in lunar samples to find out what is its ultimate source. The discovery of water in ancient moon rocks confirms that the water was present during the early stages of the geological history of the Earth-Moon system, and perhaps this is also a reflection of the type of materials that were involved in the formation of the solar system itself. The history of water on the moon may in the end help us discover how organic material, the basic building blocks of life, was brought to Earth. But for now, the fact that water is present on the moon opens up a new opportunity for human space exploration. I'm going to have a conversation with a, my colleague at NASA to find out about NASA's plans for prospecting for water on the moon. I think this is an incredibly exciting possibility. It means that we don't have to carry the very heavy and very expensive water. We can live off the land, so it makes things possible that just weren't possible before. I could imagine water extracted for, for human habitation on the moon itself, and it is likely the water on the moon will be the key driver for us returning to the moon one day.